hello guys today's sunday and um i'm hungry and i'm feeling for a crab cake a crab cake sandwich so jb and i gonna go look for it i'm wearing this little shorts little high waist i get to call it paperback shorts with my zara bag and these lv um sandals and um i'll let y'all know if i get a crab cake today okay so checking out checking with check i will check back with y'all later hope you guys are having a great holiday weekend decided to do right um just came back from taking jack to school did a quick starbucks run this week's a very um what's this week it's a very easy week for me because the next few weeks gonna be very i'm gonna be very busy so this week i'm gonna like really film like a lot of content like really short content kind of batch what's the word batch my content so as i mentioned yesterday Oh my gosh, guys. Yesterday was Labor Day and I was talking to you guys and I was going, I was going to go to um, Credit and Barrel Outlet. It was so crowded. Everywhere was crowded yesterday. It was just ridiculous, okay? So I did not film anything. It was just, it was so much. I feel like I was a little bit anxious because it was so much crowd and I don't like crowds. 
and I was by myself so I was just like oh my gosh I can't do this nevertheless I decide to hang these in here right because I really want to be done with this room I move on to something else I don't want to keep on drawing things out and then I bought this yesterday from Target it's very simple I think I like the fact that um this geometric shape and you can still see through it it's not just one firm that I made it right it's not just one thing you know what I mean so I'm going to make this bed up um Jackson oh, Jackson Duck do know how to make his room up but I think sometimes with kids when they have so much things on their plate and I think both for JB and I were trying to figure out a good schedule for Jackson where he you know have a, a, a nice routine so I know some mornings when he get up he tends to leave his bed unmade and I don't really fuss a lot about that because in the weekends he has to come in and do it you know kind of clean the room and stuff like that but I think we have to, we just have to kind of balance right so um I don't mind making his bed up for him so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna put up the pictures hoping that they're firm enough that I can use these are very very light I don't feel like making holes so let's see if <laughs> together you know okay guys this is it I gotta change the bulbs I just found some bulbs to make sure to use to make sure the lamp works and they work and they look amazing and it's simple he I think he's gonna love it okay so that's his like little bedroom area my sleeping area right? and over here is where he lounges right so see look baseball stuff gaming over here okay and you know what i'm learning i'm not a big fan of wire showing but if we got a show it got a show it, it doesn't hurt nobody this is real life okay so I, this wires down here it's games and stuff it's it has to be there it's the way it is i'm not gonna stress about it it's a little boy's room move on guys okay let's 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 get let's just move on over here so i had this piece in this closet and it was just taking up a lot of space so i just put it up put it in this corner here um his bathroom is pretty small so i don't there's no way to put like his toiletries and stuff so i'm gonna get some of the baskets and just put it right here jackson loves fashion so i just lean this mirror against the wall so he can get dressed let me show you like his little is it a moment you know get dressed do a little stuff i just want this space to be functional for my baby okay i really do um i think he's gonna love it so now we look so now he has more space in his closet look at all that pretty soon i probably gotta get like a system in here where he can get more space to do his thing but look he saved the boxes the paper and everything okay oh my goodness that's it for him so i think my baby room is coming together 
Um, I really want to, I'm going to have this house, I'm going to have it repainted, this room. You can see where Jackson does the most. I don't know how he gets to the ceiling to do things like that. Or probably throwing the ball up. Who knows? But, got the lamp. This is the corner finish. And don't the artwork look good up there? Yeah. And his bathroom is to the side. Right here. And yeah, that's it. Moving on to another space. Bye. hungry i'll see you guys in a little bit <gasps> so good mm. hey y'all so finally showered ate clean refreshed so i want to show you what i got from Crate and barrel. Dang, how did this fly get in here? Oh gosh. Oh. See, I always tell JB and Jackson to close the door. Woo! I'll be back. I have to do it. So, okay. Now we can talk in peace, okay? So, let me show you what I got from my little overstimulated haul yesterday. So, I got two lumps from Target for Jackson Room. I believe you already see it. If not, you're gonna see it. Okay. But then I also um, did a little switcher in the basement. I don't know if you remember, but I told you guys, I'm, um, I'm gonna stop buying things I already have. Okay, I have a bunch of lamps and they need shade, so I took some of the lamps out of my storage and I'm using it in the basement, but they don't have any shades. Bought these shades from Target. I think I need extra large shades and this is not the color. So I'm gonna return these. These were $22 a piece. That's a little bit high compared to when I got it to um, Home Goods and Home Sense. I see them between $12 and $16. So, and it might depend on the size. So I'm, I'm gonna, bring these back because they don't work okay hmm yeah I'm gonna bring it back so from Crit and Barrel didn't see anything that made it that makes me want to like let me buy this thing but I'm always looking for pillow covers and I found these this and this was why does that look so short? Dang it. Hold up. Hold up, guys. Okay. This was $14.97 a piece. Regular price. It might have been like $30 or $40. But look at... For some reason, I'm into these, this dark chocolate brown right now. It's a vibe for me. So I bought this. Look at that. Really pretty. I bought three of these. Because in my mind, I'm thinking I can use these on... The beds whether it be in the extra bedroom that we have or can use it in our own bedroom but this is really really pretty i bought three of these here we go All right then saw this one uh this is a they're both 23 by 23 and you know the rule size up in the inside if you want to get a nice full look okay and i think i have some 24 by 24 or even 26 by 26, but 26 by 26 might be too big for this, but we're gonna see. This one was $9.97 a piece. Clearance, I'm gonna take it home because I'm always um, changing stuff up. And at this point, JB's over me, over, over me band pillars all the time. He's over the pillowcase too, but hey. Sir, pick your battles. I know he's watching, pick your battles. Love this one, really pretty. Very, very nice. Love the neutral look of it. Love the texture. I like when my pillowcase have texture, but it's also soft to the touch. You know what I mean? So you can lay down and feel.
comfortable with it. So that's all I got from Crate and Barrett. Let me take it to the basement and show you what I got. And then I gotta keep on filming because I'm batching my content. Hey, hey. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like as you're coming down my basement, right? So these are the lamps I want to get the shades for. I honestly have to be mindful how I decorate this because I do have the intercom control right there, so I cannot go any higher. So I'm, I'm somewhat limited to what I can put here in regards to something being tall. So I've had these lamps for years. Yeah, I want to change out those pictures. More than likely, the short one and then do something. I want to put like something black right there to kind of give it, you know, a nice pop. So I'm going to look for something. These ottomans from Target. But I, I'm, I want to have like a nice entryway as you come in to my basement, okay, from the upstairs. So look for the lampshades. I also need one more of these things. I don't know what they're called. I need one more of that. This is what I did if you can't tell. I used to have the sofa right where the green chairs are, but it was blocking how my husband and my boys play pool, so I had to put it back right here, right? But I did not want to have another console table behind, so what I did was I used this vase and this basket temporarily as just something to look at behind the sofa as you come into the space, right? Create a little nice little moment right here on our gaming table. I'm still looking for chairs to come on this table so we can but to so we can sit here and play games, but I really want something that swivels, that move. So you can just always be interactive as you're in the basement. And if you all remember this table I got from CB2 outlet months ago for like a hundred dollars. Just because it has some um look, some imperfections. And um I think I'm gonna get the glass cut for it. And I did not restyle my shelves because I honestly love the way that it looks. And um, I'm going to have this mirror mounted next, hopefully, in another week or so. And that could be there. Style this CB2 piece that I also got from the outlet years, not years ago, maybe like a year or maybe like a year ago. Um, I love it. It was missing the entire top, and Alex. Um, made the top for me from wood this is how i started i'm still missing another artwork i think i'm going to change out this summer greenery here for something fall if not i'm keeping it because i like it diy black vase and i like it jb and i had this table for years my mama had it mother and we just got it back from her and I started really simple. It's the basement. We eat down here. We play down here. So I didn't want nothing crazy. So I just used some books. And I'm still trying to burn that candle that I don't like. But I'm not throwing it away. And this is what it looks like. The chairs, the sofa, all came from HomeSense. And I just want to have like a nice vibe, a nice open look down here. You see, do you see that? Do you see that? I like that because we can play and we can move and we can do things. And then on this side right here, you have the pool table. And then when the mirror is mounted, it's going to be a nice little, a nice little visual, you know, a nice little visual. Then right here, I just have this nice, nice little pop right here. Just a little area to sit at. That's it. I've been having these two ottomans in this picture for the longest time i think since we moved here and i honestly like it so i'm gonna keep it right here it probably don't match but it don't matter we like it i used to have the shelves pulled together but i had to separate it because we um it would just it wouldn't it wouldn't it would not allow us to play and really enjoy i want to say us playing pool is just my husband and the boys because i don't know how to play pool I just look cute taking taking a picture, okay? That's it. But yeah, that's I think that's all I did down here. Um, we gotta get down here repainted, and I want to do something on this wall right here where the TV is because it's missing, it's missing something. I was thinking doing 
um you, you know those wood panel that's just it's like the wood strip that goes vertical up and down maybe i do that um i might just paint that entire wall black oh that'd be sexy okay no seriously tell me below if i should paint that black oh my gosh that might be nice yeah because look secure the black all through right mm. i'll come back and talk to you about our gym another day and this is where let me show you how. so this is where we're going to put our bar and imagine this being black oh my gosh ideas i'm going to ask jb right now to paint this black and have everything else around it like bright white okay thank you jesus all right guys i've seen a little bit bye gotta go